All right, so this is a video update of the car. Uh, I had the 383 stroker in here uh, with a rear mount. I have since decided to go with an LS swap for a couple of reasons. It would, the LT1 was a little too extreme for the street. I didn't like the clutch and it was a rear mount. And I said if I was gonna, if I was gonna have to mess with anything, I'd probably just yank it all and do a front mount, which that's what I've done. So I have a 5.3 in here now with a Huron front mount turbo kit to keep the AC. It's about 95% done. I still have to swap out the PCM and wiring harness, but it's been quite the undertaking. So when anybody says LS swaps cheap, it is not. It's time consuming. There's a lot of things that you have to modify, which I had to do. So I had to pull out the ABS block, redo my brake lines, which was not fun. Uh, I had to swap the K member out, which you can't see, but I'll have pictures in the video when this goes on. Stood the radiator up, which I did prior to this. Th thankfully, I did because there's not a whole lot of clearance there. Um, there are issues too. The Huron kit does not exactly clear the front sway bar, so if everybody says, oh yeah, it's just a piece of cake, put it in, it's going to clear. It does not. So I have to modify that. I also have to come up with, uh, like I said, a new harness, which does, they do, uh, they do make a LS swap harness, which will integrate straight into the 96 Camaro uh, inside computer, so all the gauges work, which is nice. Um, did away with the rear mount, like I said, so it's going to be four inch all the way back three inch off the turbo uh, still running the 60 pound injectors is still gonna be 93 I was able to reuse the stock fuel lines and it's inlets over here connects in the back fuel pressure regulator there return line so yeah we're close still have a lot to do but we're close so feel free to give me some advice if you if you feel like there's something I'm missing also the throttle body that that cables a bitch I had to modify that but it does clear the hood surprisingly so luckily a lot of things have fallen in place for me but hopefully in the next month we'll be good so we'll see what happens